I just was one of those skeptics that always thought real estate agents, you know, they were getting paid a lot of money for doing nothing. And which is totally opposite, obviously, now that I've been into, in the business, but it was nothing that I ever planned on wanting to get into. Um, I wish I had done this 20 years earlier, though. Getting into real estate was totally not planned. It just kind of happened and fell into my lap. I was in corporate America working in human resources for another corporate um, business here in, in uh, Northville, and they eliminated my position. So they offered me to relocate to Minneapolis, St. Paul, and I chose not to do so because Mason was a senior in high school. Um, and I kind of was like, what the heck am I going to do? And so some of the options I had were to either go back into corporate America and try to find another HR position. Um, I had a few friends of mine that were realtors um, that worked for an agency out of a brokerage out of Ann Arbor. So she suggested that I join them, get my license and come and join her team. And so I thought, well, I'll give that a try. And so it wasn't anything that I expected to, to blossom or to be a big career in, but I'm very thankful that it did because now I'm having the best time of my life doing this. The comments that I get a lot from my clients is that I bring, it's the personal level and the attention to detail that I bring to them. Um, my clients don't feel like that I force them into signing any documents. They don't feel pressured by me. Um, and I think that's been my personal brand when I've been dealing with my customers that we, we stay in touch afterwards, you know, and, and I'm, we, we, we write each other, we email each other, we, we call each other because of that connection. I think it's important to make that personal connections with your clients so that you can build that mutual level of respect and trust.